start in the beginning and we're going to work our way around the place. the corner here. There we are. Hi, good, thanks. <laughs> yeah, cowboys and Indians. <laughs> well, we visited this area our first night here. It's an actual replica. Or no, it's actually from the Jaws movie. So, of course, we had to come out and uh, take pictures in his mouth and all that good stuff. That was actually what was used in the movie. I always enjoyed that. That was pretty cool. You're going to need a bigger boat. So when you first come in, there's an ice cream shop out here. Ian and I came up here, got an ice cream cone, and I had a like a coffee frappuccino thingy. So, yeah. This was probably one of our most favorite things of the week. Right here, this was recommended to us by Michelle Shirk. We're very glad we rented it. I think Tom just likes driving in around. Of course I did too. Yeah, I like it too. There's the ice cream parlor. Coming up here, we've got the front, there's the Frontier Town sign. Always very exciting. Like, yay, we're here! Over here we have the arcade and gift shop. And here's the miniature golf course, which we didn't do. Not yet anyway. Perhaps we'll do it later today. I don't know. But uh, the people who come in just to, who pay to get into the water park, they also get the miniature golf course as part of their deal for free. But as we are here at the campground, we have to pay. It's like two, two bucks or four bucks to get into the miniature golf course. Plus speed bump. <laughs> but this is going to be humorous to watch, isn't it? Um, Anyway, so the water park is cool, and we get that for free when we... Sure, if you want. Sure, the Western theme. Ooh. We want to never hear the Frontier Town Western World, which is probably one of the boys' most favorite things. We'll call these horses. How about that? Call the horses butts for a town. Call the horses butts. Maybe you make a left out of it. Go around them. Passing lane. Over there was the, the Western world. The boys very much enjoyed that. Get to run around, shoot guns. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. There's little goats to touch and stuff. And out there is the, the big tube of water slide. The water park and up here on the hill you can see the kids up on the top of the hill that just just you sit on a mat and you could you come down the hill the kids enjoyed that I'm pretty sure I have that on video so well, it's enjoyable so come around here we've got the painted pony saloon we ate dinner there the first night it's actually pretty good reasonable. We thought we'd probably eat there again this week, but we didn't. So, and that's the entrance to the water park, and as you go back through there, there's an arcade, and the laundry's back there as well. And once you pay to get, once you get your wristband, <coughs> once you get your wristband to go into the water park for the day, you can only get one a day, so don't rip it off. So, anyway, we're going to take you back into the campground now. Except for the speed bumps, it's going to be a smooth ride. Smoothish. Okay, this one. And we'll be just able to just watch this and remember our, our way to the park. Speed bump. <laughs> and a little walking trail along the side there for people who weren't as fortunate to have rented 
they walk over there. This is the office right up here. This was very cool. We got a little guy that sits out here at the gate. There he is over there checking those people in. But uh, as we come in and out each time, then he gives us the okay. Back there is where we rented our carts. And now we're heading to the shadiness of the campground. That's on your left. <laughs> you see the livery and the hotel and the jail and the telegraph, which are all just fake. But if you turn, I can just turn around here. We've okay. got, oh, oh, you are? Okay. We've got the camp store where we got lots of good stuff. And the prices really aren't that bad either. So they got a little bit of everything. And shirts and hats, etc., cetera, et cetera. So we're going around this way. More campsites. There is the Frontier Town bus. It does run several times a day and it takes you down to um, Ocean City or over to Assateague. And it's free. It's got a little schedule. There's the little kids' playground. Boys played Cowboys and Indians there quite a bit. Okay. All right. Coming up on our little row of cabins here. These people already moved out for the week. That one, I guess we're the fourth one back. There's ours. Our children are gone, the bikes are gone. Hello, number 30. Oh, there's one. The neighbors are packing up their stuff too. See, now these are long ones. These are pretty cool. These are different than ours. I still like to peek in one of these. Maybe I'll ask somebody if I can peek in their cabin. A lot bigger than a whipper will. It's a beautiful day. Had pretty good weather all week. Tuesday was a little icky. We didn't get rained out of anything. See out there's the water. That's okay. Yeah. go down this way, Tom. The picture of that little spot that I went to the group showed me the other day. See that people can have their campers. They can get spots that are right up because people who have boats and stuff, they can get their spots where they are right up against the water and then they just take their boats up. Pretty cool. Boat, this would be a good place to camp. And right out here is where Luke brought me the other day. I thought it was very nice. I didn't even know it was here until yesterday morning. Is that nice? Is that a nice little plate? I guess if we came once I wanted to eat. I had a nice girl here this week, etc. etc. You could bring them out here. Especially the poor boy. Etc. Right? Let's not give our boys anything. Because we don't like girls, man. Got our... This is where we went every... the past couple of mornings to go out crabbing. And I just on a side note, the name of the company that made the doors for the stalls is called the Heine Hider. Heine Hider Door Company. Knitting with Patsy or something one day. So, hey, yeah, I said that already. But anyway, we didn't do any of the, the camp stuff per se. Oh, they have movies and stuff that they show every night. There's a little, you get a little camp schedule when you get here. So, anyway, so this is there's the other side of where people do uh, have their and stuff. Anyway, this is out here is where we took, we went crabbing. 
and I have video from that already. There's kayakers, people who tent out there. I don't know that I would want to tent out there. Yeah. <laughs> that would be very primitive, don't you think? Oh, that was called primitive. Primitive site. Like, there you go. I'm sure that's the cheapest, but we're a little more spoiled than that. Sorry. We're a lot more. Okay, we're a lot more spoiled. <laughs> okay. They've got those little things around the campground. You can stick your head in there and pretend. Yeah, I think you can go on kayak tours right out of the campground. The boys wrinkled up their nose when I suggested that. Maybe till they're older. We'll see. Speaking of, oh no, we're being, oh no, it's bandits. Ah! <laughs> Over here's the other playground. They played here a couple of times. And there is the pool. We did stop in there yesterday a little bit, but very, very unexciting. Because the lifeguard was on duty at the time and she was kind of strict. And Luke's like, do we have to stay? We're not allowed to do anything. There's the bandit. There's the cute little bandit boy. Don't run over him, Daddy. <laughs> Please. Another bath house. And then this little row, this is your, these are the camping cabins. They're, they have, apparently they have two rooms, but it is nothing but beds. Two sets of boxes. Yeah, yeah. And there's electricity, there's no TV, but there's cable hookup if you bring your own TV. <laughs> so it's kind of like Gopher World, there's no water. You know, you have to go to the bathhouse to do all that. So it's kind of like the ones we stayed at at Whipper Will. Maybe slightly larger. A little bit of bigger porch. You've got a porch swing and stuff. They're cute. But uh, we've moved up now. <laughs> Doesn't look like anybody's here. Looks like everybody's checked out. Maybe these rentals are Saturday or Saturday. 